Simmering Springs. I'm going to show you how to get every single bug snacks in Simmering Springs. Easy peasy. Most of them are caught during the day. So first things first, we're going to go over to this bedroll right here. And we're going to sleep to 5 a.m. There was a tropical bug right here. It ran into the bush. We'll deal with that later, though. We're going to go in order. So let's go ahead and start with Queeble. Queeble is very, very easy to get. You can either lure it out with chocolate or you can use Sprout in the ball to get Queeble out. So you can see there's a Queeble right there. I'm going to show you both methods. So if we pull out Sprout, first off, you're going to want to put a trap on the other side of the hole. You can send the buggy ball, aka Sprout, in there and Queeble will be forced out into the trap. That's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it, I'm going to destroy the trap, chase him back into the hole. You can just set the trap. Let's go to get rid, get rid of Sprout. You can put the trap down. And because they really enjoy chocolate, you can put some chocolate on the trap. Stand back, and it'll come out into the trap. Easy peasy. That's your Queeble. All right, next. Crabble. They really love chocolate. Easy. But actually, before I capture the Crabble, we're going to use him. I know we're going in order, but we're going to need Crabble's help. We're going to capture the Pinantula. It likes to burrow underground, and you need the Crabble's help to pull it out. The Crabble likes chocolate, so what we're going to do... Also peanut butter, but you might not have peanut butter yet if you're in this part of the game, but you will definitely have chocolate. So, we are going to pull out the chocolate, and we're going to put it on the Pinantula. And then the Crabble is going to pull out the Pinantula. And then you can easily capture the Pinantula. Bam. And as for the crapple itself, well, I mean, you just lure it the same way as before with chocolate, but this time you'll put it on the trap. Heck, maybe if you were fast enough, you might have been able to catch up, capture both together. I was only able to get one. So let's lure it to the trap with some chocolate. Bam. Crapple captured along with a financial. Crapple. Okay, next. Peel bug. If I remember correctly, you're forced to capture this in the story anyway, so you probably already know how to do it, but in case you don't or you want another one for the ranch. Super easy. There's a sign right here that indicates the peel bug is here. You can put a trap on one side and send sprout in the other. And then be ready with the trap. Easy peel bug. Wham. Next. Rasby. Rasby is very, very easy. They like chocolate. So just go all the way over here. To boop, to boop, to boop, to boop, boop. You can see the Rasby's over here chilling. So you can put down the trap. Put some chocolate. In fact, actually, it'd be probably better to put the trap a little closer. Put some chocolate. And just wait. No, 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 Queeble, not you. No. <laughs> no. Queeble! All right, Raspy's coming. Bam. <laughs> and then you get your Raspy. Easy. All right, next. Okay, Gribskeeda, we're gonna we're gonna put that aside for now because that's at night. You can see 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. So we'll move past that. Snakiri, extremely easy. Extremely, extremely easy. Snakiri, you can see it right here. You'll be coming up in the geyser. All you have to do is pull out your slingshot. Wait for it to get nice and high. And then pew pew. Wait, no, shoot it. There you go. <laughs> Poor thing gets launched, vulnerable. Capture it. Easy. Alright, next. We have okay, Tropica Bug. So the Tropica Bug is a little bit annoying. As you can see, it stays hidden forever once scared, or at least until an aggressive snack attacks. There was one right by this this uh, bedroll, and it hid in this bush. I'm not actually going to be able to get this particular one. The only way to get it out is to get a grapple to go after it. But I just captured the grapple here, so unless I pull another one from really far away, I'm not going to be able to get that. But I can show you that in a little bit. The best way to get them is when they're still out. So there's one on that side by the bedroll, but there's going to be another one on this side right here. So don't scare it. Look at its patrol route if you need to. Be careful. Put a trap right here, and they're actually attracted to hot sauce. If you don't know how to get hot sauce, I'll show you right here. You can find hot sauce in the Scorched Gorge right over here. And you can also go up top here. Follow the wooden path. And you'll see that there is some hot sauce right there. Very close to the Cromdo Mart sign and the sleeping bag. All you have to do is swap to the hot sauce here. You've got the trap right here next to the Tropica bug. Just put some hot sauce on it. If it's not attracted... Oh, okay, it's attracted. Get ready to capture. Bam. Easy Tropica bug capture. Tropica bug. But I'll also show you how to capture one if it's in the bush and you want to know how to force it out. So if your Tropica bug is in a bush and you really want to be able to force it out, there is one bug snack that can force it out, and that is the Crapple. So the area is reloaded, so this Crapple is back. There are two ways you can do this. You need to lure it over there with chocolate. So you could do it as an individual trail, like this. Or, alternatively, you can bring Sprout out. 
cover it in chocolate. And get Sprout to go where you want the crab to go. Just lure him up. Don't get too close. The crab will get nervous. Wait, what is the crab being scared of? I wasn't that close. Come on, follow the chocolate. Don't let the crab get too close to Sprout because, yep, that's what happens. Let go! <laughs> if you're not comfortable with getting Sprout to keep his distance from the crab hole, then just, just make a trail of chocolate. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make a trail of chocolate to heck with this. All right, make a trail of chocolate. And get the crab hole to follow you. Come on. Follow me. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, Mr. Crapple. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Delicious chocolate. Delicious chocolate. Hey, 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 hey. What is he getting afraid of? Is the Snakiri scaring him? Okay. Are they afraid of Snakiri? It doesn't say they are. Yeah, the Snakiri was scaring him for some reason. Okay. I guess get rid of the Snakiri if he's scaring the Crapple away. I'm spending way more chocolate on this than I want to. I'm almost out, dude. <gasps> no. I'm out of chocolate. No. <laughs> no, come back. Freaking crapple. Eat the chocolate! Eat the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh -huh. Delicious chocolate, yeah. Come on, please. Dude! Eat the chocolate. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. And then the bush. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the trap out. Derp. Okay, okay, good, good. We, we have barely enough. Okay. No! All right, we're gonna put the trap down. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Chocolate on the bush. Go. Wait, no, the trap got covered in chocolate too. No, please don't take the trap. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Why? Okay, this should work. Okay, needless to say, just just lure it with the hot sauce and don't let it get in a bush to begin with. You can reload the area. You can reload the area if, if, if the if the freaking tropical bug runs into a bush. Just leave area and come back and, and just set the trap with the hot sauce. It's so much easier. On to... What's next? Sweetie Fly. Sweetie Fly is easy. Where are you, Sweetie Fly? Ah, okay. So the Sweetie Fly will actually not appear while it's raining. So since it's raining, we're going to go ahead and sleep in the bedroll. The rain has stopped. And as you can see, the Sweetie Fly is right here. Now, there are a few ways you can capture a Sweetie Fly. You could... Okay, so the easiest way, and the way that requires the least amount of gear, figure out where it goes to sleep, which is right here. And then you'll want to put a trap right here. It's going to dash away, because, you know, I, I put the trap while it was sleeping. But now, just be patient. Be patient, wait for it to fly around. It's going to get tired, and it's going to go into the same exact spot where your trap is, and then you can capture it. Easy peasy. So we're just going to wait patiently. It's going to go zip around a little bit more, and now it's going to sleep. In the trap. Easy. And then you can just go run and pick it up. No problem. You have plenty of time to do so. Right here. Okay, but we're going to release it because I'm going to show you another way we can do it. Alright. If you have the trip shot, another way you can do it if you're feeling less patient. Why can't I scan it? That's a little strange. It's not letting me scan its patrol route for some reason. You could try to trip shot it along its trajectory. Okay, so I'm going to scare the sweetie fly out. And then she trip the trap, and then bam. What the heck? It just fell through the earth. Okay, that is not supposed to happen. <laughs> what? Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Just... Oh, hi. What? <laughs> okay, that is not supposed to happen. Uh, just do the trap way, okay? I don't know. My, my sweetie fly is bugged. I couldn't scan it for some reason. I, I think it's just bugged. Next is Baja Tacos. We're gonna put that off because that needs to be done at night. We'll show that along with the Grape Skeeto in a moment. Next is Waff Stacker Rack. I'll show you how to capture the Waff Stacker Rack. It's really simple. Though you do, you will probably need the trip shot in order to do it. The way you do it, you come over to this breakfast triangle thing. To give you an idea where I am, this is where I am up here in this little central area with the pools. Smack this triangle, and then immediately the Waff Stack Racks will spawn with their tornadoes. Now, the standard way to capture them, which is by far the easiest, is to put the... this down. Trip shot, and bam, just let him walk up to you. You cannot put a trap on them while they're tired like that. It still won't work. You gotta use a trip shot, and it makes them vulnerable. Next, I'm gonna show you how to capture the Grumpy Snack Pod. There are actually five spawn locations. I'm gonna show you exactly where they are. So one spawn location is in the pool right here, which is to the right of the entrance. It could spawn right here. 
Another possible location for the snack pod is up there. You can see it's actually there right now. I could grapple this with if I want. Actually, one moment. I need to get rid of this boil. Stop. Okay. So, of course, if you have the snack grappler from the forest area, you could just grapple with that. If you don't have it, another way you can get it is to... You can put the launch pad down. And then put your trap on top. And just send the trap after the pod. Capture. Easy. Of course, if you have the grappler, it's faster, it's easier, but work with what you got. Alright, another spawn location of this snack pod is... Right here. That's location number three. Location number four is... One moment, one moment. Right about here is where another snack pod can spawn. And then the last location where a snack pod can spawn is... Right here, and you can see I have one right now. Bam! Let me show you how to capture the grape skeet, the green grape skeeto, and the baja cockroach. Easy. So since those are nighttime, we're gonna go ahead and sleep till midnight. Okay. Now that it's nighttime, we're gonna head over to the grape skeeto location. The green grape skeeto location, that is. And you can see them flying around up here. You can't really capture them directly with a trap launch if you try that. And by the way, this doesn't work on the sweetie fly as well. They do the same exact thing. If you try to launch it directly at these things, they'll do a what sound and they're dodging. So it doesn't work. The sweetie fly will do the same exact thing. You can't launch the trap at them in midair. But you can use a trip shot. So if I scan it, I can see its trajectory. I can use a trip shot. Yeah, they'll dodge it, but they'll eventually walk into it, and they'll get staggered. So, that's one quick way to do them. But honestly, you don't have to do that. There's a way that doesn't need as much gear, and it's still very easy to do. So, if you'll scan them, you'll see they really like chocolate. And you see there are raspberries nearby. If you put chocolate on a rasby, the grape skeetos will notice, and they will attack the poor rasby, sucking the juice out of it. Grape skeeto. Grape skeeto. And you don't even need a trap or anything. You can just... Net him just like that. Easy peasy. And then lastly, the Baja Takaroach, you can find it over here. We're gonna go up here. Or no, no, not here. To the right. Right here. This is where the Baja Takaroach is. Okay. They really like hot sauce, so all you have to do is put a trap down. Put some hot sauce. And bam. Easy capture. Or if for whatever reason you don't want to use hot sauce, you could just get them to run into your trap like that. I was gonna say you could get on the other side and chase them into your trap because they run straight away from you. So if you just put the tr if you put them in between you and a trap, they'll run into the trap. Easy peasy. That is all 12 bugs next of Simmering Springs. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and comment. It does help out a lot. I do upload a new video every single day, so make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you never miss out. I also stream daily on Twitch starting at 12 p.m. Central and ending at 4 p.m. Central. So make sure you follow me there to catch when I'm live. Link is in the description. But that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you had fun. And I'll catch you next time.